I am Selma. I'm an artist at Il Jinjara. I'm going to ask Vanessa some questions in Western Narendra about the work in Sydney. What that, Vanessa? Yes, I am Vanessa. I'm an Il Jinjara artist. Homeless Homeland um, thing I did in Sydney was to show that we don't have a home and we are actually asking to have our homes built at our homeland that hasn't been done yet. My dream is that if I do have a house, I will have my own doings, you know, not for me to do what everybody else is doing like we do in the hostels. My dream is uh, to uh, have my place to do as I please. Mm -hmm. our, our, our own people our long time They are all waiting on the list. Like everybody else gets mm. their ha houses, and we have been waiting so long for something like that to happen. So it hasn't happened yet. Mm. Yeah, the idea of uh, us talking to the government is uh, a bit hard, because some of us, we don't talk that much. So to express or to show the government that we are homeless, we do it through our hearts, you know, just to show them that we are actually asking for help and to have something set up for us in the future. Like landscape, but in a number of like I've written the homeless on the homeland on the front of the bag, but on the back I have uh, painted a picture of my country to show that that is where we come from and that is uh, what we want done, you know. If the government would actually help us out to give us a house. Yes, I'm a happy person and I guess we are the lucky ones to have all these things that's offered to us to paint on, like what we're doing with whatever's uh, given to us to do. And we are actually putting our mind and heart to it to actually make it look because we really mean to have all that done for the sake of ourselves and for our families mm -hmm. and for our tribes. My name is Clara Inkamala and I'm uh, one of the artists from Il Jinjara. I've been working um, with Il Jinjara for uh, one and a half years. I worked with the artists first for 20 years, and um, I got sick, so I moved into Alice Springs, and now working with the Il Jinjara Art Centre. We did um, homeless um, shopping bags because we all are homeless here, and like my other people, Aboriginal people are still struggling to get a commission houses here in Alice Springs. Months on the McDonald Ranges is my grandfather's country. So um, I painted um, to see um, how beautiful our country is. And we're also homeless for our country because we've been fighting um, since in 2010, but I remember I've been fighting with my brothers, asking to put them home, places there for us, for our families, and for our children, so they can work that they had push, like doing a um, range of job and all that. But um, we didn't get any places or we just stuck here in Alice Springs. And uh, because why I painted all that, to show through our art centre, because we are fighting for our land and our people struggling to get housing 
and some of the Aboriginal people are turned away from their own land, and uh, that's why uh, we can't do anything about it. Only this way we can uh, send our me messages through our heart, just like we did um, like our country now, and uh, really important was that we done it on that shopping bag, just telling how um, homeless we are, our people, with no help, so that we can tell through our uh, homeless bag that we done to other people and overseas people that can, you know, see it through our internet also. Painted on the back. Science ain't no fracking. That one no fracking anyway here on my Christian land. Not good. I've talked to some of the locals say no for fracking because fracking is no good. Even if you if a person plant put a seed to plant a vegetable make a vegetable garden, it's not good. The water is poison. I paint my homeland country because all that promise had been broken by both government. I don't agree much. Back in the 60s, 70s, when you got a bit better, coming up to 70s and 80s, 90s, and we're going back again backward. Things start working properly good. But now I'm speaking on behalf of my people because these things have to change. I want more building and work, work for our people. We can't just sit, we need to go back to our own country and start doing something. We have to think what, what I've been saying, we need to go back to the community, homeland, and think what to put. And uh, talk to the local government, support each other. We want, we want this to happen.